don't know how I let her talk me into this. Oh, come on. Like every guy doesn't secretly dream of being in a mother-son fashion show. You're not helping. I'm not trying to. Oh, Gregory. Oh, look at you. You look dumb. What do you think, dumb? I think you should open with Love Will Keep Us Together and Save Muskrat Love for the encore. Please. You know, you don't have to stay. Oh, like, I'd miss this. Oh, all right, everyone, it's time. Line up, line up. Here we go. You know your places. Don't worry, honey. One day we'll look back on this and I'll laugh. <laughs> all right. Gregory, put your hat on. <laughs> Mother. Do you notice anything about the other participants? Yes, I don't think any of them put the thought into their outfits that we did. <laughs> put your hat back up. Hey, mister. I got a Sony PlayStation for doing this. What did you get? Sorry, I can't do this. But they have announced us. Now put your hat back on. Goodbye, Mother. Have a wonderful luncheon. <laughs> Gregory, what are you doing? You are embarrassing me. I'm embarrassing you? Did you know that this thing was for little kids? It was open to sons of all ages. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mother, but you do not take other people's feelings into consideration when you do these things. What are you talking about? I let you pick the cruise wear theme. What's going on? Oh, Gregory has developed some stage fright. Oh, you should have seen Nicholas Yoder. He threw up in his pith helmet. I do not have stage fright. I just don't like being afloat in my mother's look at me parade. Gregory, this has nothing to do with me. This is about charity. None of these things are about charity. They're excuses for idle rich women to show off their new clothes. Gregory, these charity events are my life's work. And isn't that a shame, Mother? Hey, you guys missed it. The Yoda kid forgot. Put his hat back on. Hey, Mr. Man. Want to do something you haven't done in a while? Sure. Call your mother. No. It's been a week, Greg. You can't just never speak to her again. Sure. People do it all the time. My cousin Frank hasn't talked to his mother in ten years. Is that the cousin who boils his house keys every night? It's not because he stopped talking to his mother, it's because he didn't stop soon enough. Greg, you and Kitty are just starting to deal with stuff. You guys need to talk. Karma, I'm handling this the way that I want to handle it. Come on, Greg, you're being silly. Fine. You want me to call my mother? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to tell her that... Her narcissism destroyed any hope I had of being a normal, functioning human being, that I survived my childhood despite her, not because of her, that I used to pray that my father would run off with his secretary who used to give me butterscotch candies and that they'd take me with them and that we'd live happily ever after. Should I tell her that? All right. You know what, honey? You're going to handle this the way you want to handle it. I should respect that. Thank you. Yikes. Hey, yo, Kitty, over here. Hi. Mama, you know I had to rearrange my plans to be here. What's so important we couldn't talk about it on the phone? Because it's something you have to see. What? Look at these baby pictures of Greg. Isn't it cute? You said this wasn't about Greg. Had to, otherwise you wouldn't have shown up. And look, here's the two of you at his high school graduation. You got a bad case of red eye there, but they make a pen for that now. Dama, I know you think you are helping, but Gregory and I will handle this matter in our own way. Oh, so you have a plan? When he is ready to apologize, I might be ready to listen. <laughs> is there a plan B? Yes. We stop talking about it and we order lunch. Ah, hello. Oh, hi. 
Hi, Dharma. Hi, David. <laughs> they got you working days now? Yeah, they let me switch because I'm doing my play again. Oh, good for you. Is your mother going to come see it? Oh, she hasn't missed one yet. Oh, see? Isn't that the way it should be? Mother and son. Just kind of warms up those yeah. heart cockles, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hello, I, I'm David. Hi, David. Kitty Montgomery, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. And, and may, may I just say that that is an absolutely beautiful suit. Why, thank you. Mm -hmm. Is it Pierre Le Gros? Oh, yes, it is. You have a very good eye. Well, you know, I love his men's stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. You know he's having a trunk show tomorrow. He's not. Mm -hmm, he is. By invitation only, but I, I actually may be able to sneak you in. I would love that. Well, Kitty, isn't that something Greg might like to go to? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Who's the little graduate there? That's her son, her only son. Really? I don't believe that. You don't look old enough to have a son graduating from high school. <laughs> David, why don't you join us? I would, but I've seen the kitchen. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Dharma's not here. No, we're not here to see Dharma. We're here to see you. Dharma told us you had a falling out with your mom because you showed up at some deal wearing the same outfit? It's not exactly what happened, but more or less. Greg, come here. Sit down a minute. Eternal force is an essential part of a person's well-being. Now, that force doesn't literally have to come from one's mother. The earth can be a mother. A sister can be a mother. A father could be a mother. When there's two fathers, certainly one of them is the mother. Or, or both. I'm sorry. I, I, I just can't do this right now. All we're here to say, Greg, <clears throat> is that while you have this void in your life, Larry and I are here for you as a mother. A father, a mother and a father, two mothers. But the important thing to remember is you only have one mother. And you owe it to yourself to make peace with her. Make her your friend. Absolutely. And it might take some doing. I mean, my mom has never been overly fond of Abby. But once I realized it was pointless to defend Abby, Mom and I were friends again. What do you mean it was pointless to defend Abby? I'm just telling Greg it's easy to go along with her. Like if his mom said, Dama looks ridiculous wearing those hippie outfits at her age. Instead of fighting with her, he could say, sure, Ma, you're right. Argument over. Everybody's happy. Your mother thinks I look ridiculous? Who told you that? <laughs> Anybody want coffee? No, thank you, Greg. You only speak to this woman two times a year, and you can't even defend me just a little bit. What are you talking about? My mother loves you. Yeah. But she thinks I look ridiculous. Where do you get this stuff? <laughs> She'd rather I look like her in lilac running suits. Now, when you talk like that, you start to sound like her. <laughs> Don't even go there, Myron Lawrence Finkelstein. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm the peacemaker. You know, Ronald Reagan called his missiles peacemakers. Calling my mother Ronald Reagan? Hey, Norma. Ed, what are you doing here? Well, you told Kitty you had an extra ticket to the theater, and she figured it was some kind of a ploy to put her and Greg together. She thought that, huh? Yeah, well, she's paranoid. <laughs> anyway, I didn't want you sitting in the theater by yourself. Hey, darling. Pete, what are you doing here? Well, Greg figured the extra theater ticket was a trick to get him together with his mom. He did, huh? But I've never seen a Lion King. You've never seen the Lion King? Oh, this thing's terrific. And it's not just people in big costumes, it's songs and dancing. It's a major production. Have a nice time. <laughs> oh, so everyone's smarter than Dharma. Hey, hello, son. Oh, good, you made it. You missed a heck of a play the other night. Pete told me. I got your T-shirt. <laughs> So, uh, this will be fun, huh? You bet. And, Dad, I'm glad that my little, uh, problem with Mother isn't going to affect our relationship. Hey, 
What goes on between you and your mother is your business. Nothing comes between you and me. Thanks, Dad. Sure. Oh, by the way, I can only play nine. She thinks I'm out buying shoes. <laughs> I understand. And we should probably get to it because I'm going to have to pick up a pair of shoes on the way home. Good thinking. Actually, that should take some time. I have a very narrow foot. I, I never noticed. You know what? Um, I, I should probably get going now. Uh, let's do this again sometime. Huh? Okay, I'm all dressed. Going to your mom's country club luncheon without you. Have fun. You know, I could wait an extra five minutes if you want to throw on a jacket, maybe some shoes. I'm not going. Okay, fine. See you later. Bye. You know, if you're hoping this is going to make your mom change or be a better person or apologize to you, it's not going to happen. I'm not hoping for anything. Come on! Dharma, don't you get it? My mother doesn't care about anybody's feelings so long as she looks good. Yeah, so get over it. Why is it up to me? Because you're younger, you can take it. That is ridiculous. No, it isn't. It is your job to forgive your mother. It was her job to forgive her mother, and if we have kids, it'll be their job to forgive us. <laughs> and by us, I mean you. <laughs> Hi, Ma. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, the baby's great. Yeah, Dharma's great. You know, Abby's great, too. I know you didn't, Ma. I just thought you should know that Abby's great. She's been great since the day I met her. It means just what I said. Abby's great, and I don't think you should run it down the way you've been doing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, no, of course I don't like it when she does that. Nobody likes that. But I don't say anything about it, and neither should you. Well, I know you do, Ma, but I can't bring the baby to Florida without Abby. Because she's breastfeeding. No, I don't think a 50-year-old woman breastfeeding is ridiculous. Unusual? Sure. Yeah, Bissell Mashuga. Hi. Hi. Oh, you look lovely, dear. Oh, thank you. You too, Kitty. Thank you. And Edward, never lovelier. You know, I feel lovely. Well, <laughs> Frank would have been here, but, um... Well, he's just a big stubborn ass, and I don't know where he gets it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. So, Charity, what are we curing? What are we eating? Well, it says melon balls on this thing. I hope that's an appetizer, not a disease. <laughs> Edward... Hi, Dharma. Are you working the party? No, David is joining us. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Mm. Oh, good. You've gone back to Chanel number five. Oh, you were right. I don't know what I was thinking. Too much? Perfect. Hello, Edward. David. <laughs> so, what? You guys have been hanging out together? Oh, every minute I can. Your mother-in-law is an amazing woman. Oh, stop. Oh, stop yourself. It's true. I can't keep up with her. I mean, just look at what she does. She keeps a beautiful home. She looks stunning. Yes, and somehow she managed to put together this entire luncheon in just two weeks. You tell me how she does it, because I just don't know. <laughs> well, I had a lot of help. I had a couple of notions. Oh, wonderful notions. Oh, stop. I know you stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh there's Vicky Biedermeyer. Oh. Remember I told you about her son, airline mm. management? You know what? You are not going to be happy until you fix me up, will you? No, I will not. So there's no point in fighting. Who's fighting? Oh, let's invite her son to your play. Let's get a picture first. Wow. Yeah. So what, she has a fight with Greg, and then she just goes out and replaces him? Well, in Kitty's defense, we've been through a dozen gardeners, and this is only our second son. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't going to be like the last performance art thing you took me to. Oh, you mean audience? You didn't like audience? Dharma, we were the only ones there. The actors sat on the stage for an hour and a half and watched us. <laughs> Clearly, you didn't understand it. <clears throat> and no, this is not like that. David does all these characters, and there's music and jokes. You'll love it. Fine. Oh, what is she doing here? 
Who? My mother. Oh, she met David at the restaurant. They've become friendly. Did you know she was going to be here? I don't know. I guess I might have known. Oh, this is just great. Great. David is a friend of mine, and I'm not going to change the way I live my life just because you're having a problem Fine. with your mom. Fine. Fine. Hi, Kitty and Ed. Oh, Dharma. Greg. Hello, Dharma. <laughs> Dad. Once upon a time, in a country club not so far away, but certainly out of touch, there were some ladies, some ladies who lunched. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to our annual charity fundraising talent show. Now, please remember that all the performers you will see here on stage tonight are just us gals from the country club. So, even though we may not be rich in talent, thanks to our husbands, we certainly are rich. A star. A star. Who's he supposed to be? I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful outfit. Tonight, we will be raising money to provide small vacation homes for the moderately wealthy. We are all familiar with the tragedy of single-parent homes. But nobody talks about the tragedy of single-homed parents. A star. A star. See this guy's been hanging out with my mother? I know, I know, I know, I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking to yourself, when is this beautiful, elegant, selfless woman will you stop gabbing and start singing? Well, right now. Two, three, four. Yeah, I think he sounds a little like you. <laughs> Here's to the ladies who lunch. Everybody laugh. Ha 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 ha. Lounging in their caftans, planning a brunch. Ha 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 ha. Dee Dee Hepplewhite. Although between you and me, I thought that damn swan would never die. <laughs> well, we've had ourselves a good time tonight. But what's most important is that we raised money for those less fortunate than us. Which really, when you come to think about it, it's pretty much everybody else. <laughs> well, thank you. Good night. Oh, oh don't stop. Oh, stop. Worst experience of my life. Oh, dear, it's opening night. We'll come back another time when he's got all the kinks worked out. <laughs> I'll go get the car. you doing? Oh, I'm all right. Well, it, in a way, it was kind of flattering. You were the, the star. Oh, I was the joke. <laughs> Is that how people see me? Not if they know you. You're just saying that. Mother, there are some things that you and I will never agree on. Some of your causes, I just, I don't get. Which ones? I don't know. Uh... Teaching tap dancing to homeless people. Habitat tap? Just, I don't get it. But, but, but my point is, I do know something about you that this David guy will never understand. That you care about people and that you work hard to make a difference. Well, thank you. I mean it. And I'm very sorry for the things that I said. Apology accepted. I'm proud of you. Oh, stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You don't get the O-stop thing, do you? I guess I don't. Important. Well, I, I think we should go backstage and congratulate David. That's very big of you, Mother. 
Well, if he's going to do me, he should do me right. He's much too fidgety with his hands. I'm not a hummingbird. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm very modest in my movements. Yes, very you are. I'm actually a reserved person. You'll get no argument from me. <laughs> Hey, sorry I'm late. Come on, we better hurry. Yeah, I hate to miss the overture. I hear the understudy is going to be playing Simba. No. Give him a chance. This is the guy we saw fill in for Warthog. We loved him. Oh, you're right. He was terrific. <laughs> <laughs>